Welcome to Greenhorn Linux. Linux for Greenhorns. On this episode of Greenhorn Linux, Adam explains how to choose a Linux distribution. Then he attempts to explain what GNOME, KDE, XFCE, and other desktop environments are all about. My god, this already sounds confusing. Alright, don't worry. Hopefully this won't be too bad. Now, if you haven't seen my other video, How Linux Works, be sure to check that one out in the link below. I recommend that one before this one. As we previously discussed, Linux is highly modular. So what this means is that we will end up picking the components that we want in our Linux install. And this is where the Linux distributions come in. Uh, essentially what they'll do is they will pick all of the components for you uh, based upon that distribution's goals and values. Here are some examples of some Linux distributions. Uh, Ubuntu is one, Mint, we have Fedora, OpenSUSE, and there's countless many other Linux distributions out there. If you want to get a good sense of just how many, check out distrowatch.com. Because Linux is all about choice, a lot of the Linux distributions give you even more choice. So, for example, uh, OpenSUSE, uh, what the way this distribution works is during the install process you actually choose which desktop environment you want to run so you would have OpenSUSE and then you would choose whether you want to run KDE, uh, GNOME 3, uh, XFCE and perhaps a couple of others. Uh, Ubuntu and their uh, Linux distributions is slightly different um, what they do is like Ubuntu uh, as of right now uses Unity uh, and then if you wanted KDE desktop environment, you would download Kubuntu. If you wanted XFCE, you would download Zubuntu. And if you wanted the LXDE, you would download Lubuntu. Um, so this complicates matters, but it gives you a lot of choice. So basically you have two things. You have the Linux distribution, uh, which makes up uh, the desktop environment and some other components. And the desktop environment um, can be mixed and matched with different distributions. So let me try to clear this up. You're probably wondering what a desktop environment is. A desktop environment basically uh, picks a lot of the core components for you, such as file manager, uh, how you manage your windows, and many, many other things. So I'm going to use GNOME 3 as an example. So GNOME 3, what uh, this desktop environment currently uses, uh, is it uses, uh, I believe, Compiz for the uh, Windows Manager, and then it uses uh, Nautilus for the File Manager. And KDE will use, uh, currently, I believe it's KWIN for the Windows Manager, and Dolphin for the File Manager. So usually what happens is a Linux distribution will pick the desktop environment and then they'll add their own small tweaks and program packages that they think are the best of the best and are trying to accomplish uh, their overall goals. So a Linux distribution is very helpful because everything is kind of pre-configured for the user. Uh, you don't have to mix and match your own components uh, as long as you feel that this Linux distribution meets your kind of expectation and goals. So what are some of the expectation and goals of a Linux distribution? Uh, they range uh, all over the place. Uh, one could be speed, so they'll pick desktop environments and programs that are all based upon speed. Uh, some might be for older hardware, uh, others may be for newer hardware and all the eye candy you want. Uh, others might be just for bleeding edge software. Uh, it really is all over the place. And that's the cool thing about Linux. The other cool thing about Linux is once you actually start understanding all of this, then you can start and mix and match different components to meet your needs. So for for example, uh, currently I'm running Zubuntu 11.10. Uh, I'm using the Windows Awesome Windows Manager. And then up here I actually have the uh, XFCE panel um, just because I was lazy and didn't want to configure my uh, awesome panel up here quite as much because it's a lot more complicated. So uh, as you can see you can easily switch in and out different components which just makes Linux really really great for building a system that you really want. Alright, and the reason you're probably watching this video is you want help in picking a distribution and or a desktop environment for yourself. So these are very general statements what I'm about to make. Take them as you will, and I'm really not trying to offend anyone. Uh, so yeah. So one of the first things we're going to do is start with some desktop environments. So uh, one of the first ones up is KDE. Now this is generally thought to be a little bit heavier uh, in the way that the desktop environment works. 
Uh, it's tended to be thought of as easier, especially for new Windows users, because a lot of things are set gra uh, through the graphical user interface. Um, some of these things, these stereotypes have kind of uh, changed, especially with the latest release of 4.8 at the time of this recording. Um, a lot of people say it's a lot faster and one of the best KDE releases so far. Um, but generally speaking, it's, it's, it's thought to be a, a very pretty uh, a desktop environment, but uh, much heavier on system resources. If you're interested in checking out KDE, two Linux distributions that use KDE are OpenSUSE and Kubuntu. One of the more controversial desktop environments is GNOME 3. Um, it's a little bit heavier than the rest I'm going to mention, uh, but you know it, it has some nice eye candy, um, and it also kind of redefines how you use your desktop. Now, some people feel that uh, GNOME 3 is very efficient in the way that you use your desktop, and then others feel it makes using your desktop a lot uh, less uh, efficient. I don't know, I haven't used it that much, but the beauty about Linux is all about choice, and if you think it's something that you might be interested in, uh, you know, check it out. Um, some of the uh, Linux distributions that use GNOME 3 are OpenSUSE and Fedora. XFCE is kind of thought to be middle of the pack as far as what you get with it and system performance, especially uh, with the list that I'm mentioning. Um, it's off then compared to GNOME 2, uh, to my knowledge GNOME 2 really isn't supported that much anymore because the entire project has moved on to GNOME 3. And a lot of people that loved GNOME 2 may be seriously considering uh, XFCE. Uh, it's very, very similar, uh, except some people complain that it's not quite as good as the old GNOME 2 was. Uh, I myself am a huge fan of X XFCE, and if I'm not booted into the window, uh, the awesome Windows Manager, then um, I will most certainly be using the XFCE desktop environment. Some Linux distributions that uh, allow you to use XFCE are uh, OpenSUSE and uh, Zubuntu, and Zubuntu is actually what I have installed on my system. Out of all that I have mentioned so far, LXDE comes in at the lightest. Uh, the advantage to this is that it is fantastic for older hardware, and uh, it's, it's pretty functional. I mean, you don't sacrifice a lot. Uh, the only downside is you do sacrifice more eye candy and, and other things uh, compared to the other desktop environments uh, such as uh, KDE and GNOME 3 and maybe even XFCE, but uh, if you're running older hardware, definitely give it a go. Um, if you're looking for a Linux distribution, uh, you can always check out Lubuntu and uh, OpenSUSE. I should also mention Unity. This is the latest uh, desktop environment from Ubuntu and it's their default uh, desktop environment now. Uh, I've used it. Uh, I, you know, I, I don't mind it. Some people really hate it. Others really, really like it. Uh, I'm kind of in the middle. Uh, it has some wonderful features. Um, if, if you're kind of, if you like how a Mac is kind of set up, uh, then uh, definitely look at Unity. Uh, it, it takes some of the ideas from Mac and kind of incorpor incorporates it into a Linux environment. So uh, if that kind of interests you, definitely worth a check out. So you may be wondering which one do I recommend? Well, uh, for the large community and for help, I recommend any of the Ubuntu's. Uh, Lubuntu, Kubuntu, Zubuntu. Um, uh, if you want the biggest uh, community, just stick with the regular Ubuntu with Unity. Uh, another really, really good one, and it's based upon Ubuntu, is the uh, Linux distribution Mint. Uh, also another fantastic one. You can also look at OpenSUSE. Uh, that seems to be pretty good with the community. Uh, Fedora, I'm kind of eh on. It's more geared for the corporate environment. So I'm going to very quickly show you where you can get a whole bunch more information. So in your URL uh, bar up here, you can type in uh, DistroWatch. So scroll down into the middle here on the right hand side. Uh, this basically tells you the rank or the number one distro. Um, it doesn't mean install base, it just means how many people are actually visiting. So uh, for example, we're going to click on Mint. So if you know what desktop environment you want to run, um, you can then figure out which uh, Linux distributions support that desktop environment. Uh, so here we see that uh, Mint supports GNOME, KDE, and Mate. If you scroll down even more, it tells you a whole bunch more information. This is telling you which web browser, you know, Chromium is a web browser, Firefox is a web browser. It's basically telling you what software it comes with and the version number, which once you start learning Linux, uh, this will be very, very useful information. All right, well, that's certainly enough information at this point. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Uh, be sure to check out my website, greenhornlinux.com, and thanks for watching.